Hey all, this is Motherload458, and here it is after months and months of waiting, we've got the Android 5.0.2 Lollipop on our Xperia Z devices. I can't wait to see how it works, so I'm gonna share it with you today. Stay tuned. The first thing I'd like to show you is the powering on animation. And yeah, we're gonna just skip through this just to see the most important parts. This update has brought the Xperia Z as close as possible to the stock lollipop and I must say I really like it. The menus look great and the material design really gets the job done properly. In some situations I've even started wondering whether this was the stock Android and not the Sony one. The notification bar changes colors depending on the surrounding dominant color and it also changes when you change and switch apps. Uh, just take a look here on the Google Play Store. It's turned green just as all the surrounding color. The great new feature is close all apps in recent apps button and it's really handy. I think Google should introduce it into its stock ROMs. The notification bar has remained the same as the Google one which is really a surprise to me since Sony always likes experimenting and changing stuff. Among uh, the things that they have changed is the quick uh, uh, notification toggle bar switcher. With it you can change the icons that uh, you have in your notification drop down panel. Battery innovations bring a new ultra stamina mode along with a normal stamina mode, which uh, saves your battery life even more. But you can't use your Wi Fi or your mobile data when using it, it only allows the uh, basic functions to be used. And the settings apps has never been closer to Google One and now features only a few Sony modifications, such as the Bravia Engine Image Enhancer and uh, similar stuff to that one. Camera on this new uh, Android OS really hasn't changed much compared to the previous versions with only a few slight alterations and it now features for example a few new apps that are compatible with Lollipop such as the Sound Photo or the YouTube Live Broadcaster and basically there is nothing much to talk about the camera here. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and please share it with your friends if you do like it because it really helps me make uh, better quality videos. My next video is probably going to be a video about how to install this ROM onto your Xperia Z since it still hasn't arrived OTA.